what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Now, I left you at the end of yesterday's episode. Um, and we just qualified for the first... Well, we're not qualified for the weekend league, but we just got through the first couple of rounds of the tourney. And we are now in the semi-finals. Uh, so it's time for us to switch back over to my new super squad with the likes of Nainggolan, Kante, Dybala, Martial. A bit of a super squad. <clears throat> But we do only have one game left with a lone Butland. And I'm a bit short of coins. So it's going to be tight on whether or not we earn enough in this next game to, one, be able to afford him. Or whether we're going to have to do some stuff with some of the bronze players we got. Try and sell some people on. I don't know what we're going to do. But we're going to need to buy a Butland at the end of this game. Um, we go into the semi and we come up against a strong looking Prem team. Lately, two players that have been giving me a lot of problems. Shakiri and um, Lukaku and I come up against special versions of both of them. So I was This guy was already in my head literally before we even started playing so that wasn't great But of course, you know, I, I need to get over it and take some chances score some goals and uh, do all right but It was a pretty even game my opponent did have a few chances, you know, like Lukaku, Rooney and stuff like that were taking pot shots on my goalkeeper. We play it through to Quadrado. Hits the post. Martial gets it. He hits the post. But it comes to Quadrado and we do manage to score there um, to go 1-0 up within uh, well, under 20 minutes, I guess, which is obviously a good, a good thing. But that was one of the, the more dodgy sort of, oh my God, is this frigging ball going to go in the back of the net type goals that I've ever scored. Um... And that's about it for the first half. Uh, as you can see, at the, uh, we've had a lot more possession than my opponent in this game. Um, but it's kind of equal on the shots. He's had actually one more than I have. Uh, and early in the second half, David Silva plays a beautiful ball through to Lukaku, who on his weak foot at the near post sticks a goal in against me. In like a real life situation, I kind of wouldn't expect that one to go in. But you know what it's like on FIFA. Uh, and then I sort of completely lost the plot. Fabregas gets through. Luckily for me, Butland manages to save. Martial's on the ball. Plays it out to Dybala, who manages to get past a couple of defenders here. He spots an open Quadrado. Is that considered a sweat goal? Like, I played the ball and then the people made the movements to make it kind of look like a sweat one. Um, I don't know. Either way, I scored the goal. And uh, I don't really care if it was a sweat one or not. We do get through here with Martial. Take one touch and then bang it. Low, driven, across the goalkeeper. And we uh, we increase our lead to a two-goal lead now. It's 3-1 in this game. Things are looking tasty. I can almost smell, touch, feel, taste the final of this daily knockout tournament. Uh, as you can see, we push through with Dybala. Not many defenders back. Certainly is not as many as in the first half. This guy had obviously gone like ultra attacking, all out attack, something like that to try and get back into the game. Uh, I play the ball around here. Matic takes a shot. It does get deflected uh, and uh, we go again. Kante plays it across to Martial, who does a couple of twists and turn, finds Matic, who also spots an open nine Golan, who manages to get past the defender, low, driven, finesse shot to whip it past the goalkeeper and increase our lead even more. And nine Golan now, one of our midfielders, sticks the ball in the back of the net, um, and it does look like we will be seeing the final of the daily knockout and hopefully earning ourselves a spot in the weekend league. Nine Golan whips one, back stick, who's there? Dybala, but a great save. From Hugo Lloris, uh, we don't manage to increase the lead there. Florenzi whips one in. Martial goes through an acrobatic. Doesn't quite work. Um, but as you can see, at this point in the game, we've had everything. We, I push it through to Matic, who hits a low driven across the goalkeeper. He does score it. And we're now 5-1 up. Which, you know, he, he's, he's run off dabbing. He's that happy about things. Uh, he wears the number 13 shirt. Unlucky for some. But for today, not for Matic because he's been a bit of a worldie of a signing, I'm not going to lie. He's probably provided more for us than Moussa Dembele did, which is obviously a positive thing. Uh, he stopped playing at this point and I did whip it over. I figured if I could get a five-goal lead or five-goal cushion, I would get the maximum amount of coins for this game. Meaning that I might be able to afford Butland at the end of it, so that's why I did that. And then, after a little bit of not playing, he decided to score one own goal. Um, probably so that in his head he could say, Oh, I scored an own goal on you. I'll let you win. Well, you didn't, mate. I scored five before, <laughs> before or six before you even managed to do that. So, uh, 
yeah, convincingly, uh, even though right at the start of this game this guy had got in my head, uh, we did manage to win seven goals to one in the uh, in the semi-final of the daily knockout, which to me sort of says that this is probably not seeded. People, I, I still can't tell whether or not the daily knockouts are seeded or not. Uh, as in, you know, if you're in the semis, you play someone in the semis or, or like that, or whether it could be anyone. I really don't know. Let me know if you do in the uh, in the comment section below. So, we get a few hundred coins for that game. And we're up to 3,600. Last night, uh, Butland was like 3,100. I can afford him, but no. He's friggin' well gone up. I don't know who's done a video on him, but he's gone up to nearly 4,000 coins. And rather than try and sell some bronzes that weren't really selling at the time, I discard a couple of gold items that I've got in the club that I'm never going to use. Uh, a manager there that I probably won't use again. Well, I definitely won't now that I've got rid of him. A silver card, which helps with a foot injury. I don't know. I got rid of it. Um... And we do buy ourselves a Butland there for 3,900, leaving us with only 50 coins. That's the poorest we've been on the Road to Glory account for a very, very long time. And uh, it's a bit of a dodgy situation because I can't afford an injury. And I don't have two teams that are like fully rotatable because uh, half of this special team here is like my Prem team. So I'm a bit worried. I need to try and earn some coins somehow. Um, it, and I, I had a, a coin boost on here. I haven't got any of the thousand ones left. So we've got 15 games with an extra 200 coins each. That's not much. That's only like two or 3,000 coins in 15 games. Um, but it will help, I guess. Uh, I need I need to be able to make a Serie A team with these guys. Because I, I, I just really do. Uh, and because that will help us with squad rotation and stuff. And then I work my way into the final. And Shit. That I come up against a really strong looking team. He's got Matuidi and Kante. Who are two midfield generals. Workhorses. And I know their interception levels are incredibly high. And this game was tough. Really tough. Uh, my opponent was seriously good on possession with the ball. I, I, I couldn't really get near him. Uh, he whips one in. He, he kept doing this. He kept going out wide with Di Maria. And then whipping it in. But uh, I couldn't really defend it. And uh, and I couldn't defend his dribbling. It was frustrating the hell out of me. Again, I'd lost my head in this game. Because I knew that it meant if I, if I win this one, I get into the weekend league. We stick it in the back of the net with nine Golan. But unfortunately for me, uh, he was already offside or something. It didn't count anyway. Um, and it was just a case of more defending against my opponent. Who was, well, not necessarily having opportunities and taking shots. But definitely getting down the line and whipping it in. And even if I defend it, I don't know. Luckily uh, for my opponent. <coughs> excuse me. I've got like, I'm bunged up. Uh, it's because I've been commentating for too long. But he does manage to score on me here. Uh, with a, a far post header from Lacazette. And at half time, as you can see, I'd had one shot off target. Hardly any bloody possession. It was horrible. And I could see myself going out. And this was stressing me out. If I lose this game, I probably wouldn't be playing any more FIFA that day. Because it was one of those seriously tense situations. I changed to a second variant, 4-1-2-1-2. Which is what a lot of the pros use and stuff. And I think I had a bit more success with it. Because the second half was a little bit of a different story. Um... My opponent went into half time with three shots on uh, on goal. I had one, uh, and you'll see at the end of the game what what the the shots and stuff end up as. But as you can see, we are taking some shots on the goalkeeper now, trying to make the most of any opportunity. I play it through to Dybala, who gets through. He's about to whip it across. Jeremy Matthew slides him out and earns himself a straight red card. We've got a penalty, and we're against ten men. We've got 10 minutes to turn this game around. Can we do it? I sprint up with Dybala. And I friggin' miss the penalty. He saves it. He defends it. He gets the ball away. And then holds onto it for about another 10 minutes. The final whistle goes. And I'm heartbroken. I'm not in the daily. I'm not in the weekend league. Uh, I, I couldn't make it. Unfortunately. That really, really sucks. It costs so much for me to play with these teams at the moment because I do require fitness and stuff. I have to use fitness cards that if I was to go on another run and another run and another run, I would I would run out of coins and I'd run out of fitness items to even play the weekend league. So what I think we need to probably do is take a step back and um, I probably went and spent on Dybala a bit too soon. Like he's a, I'm poor now at the moment, which is not a good thing. 
I need to try and get some coins together. So I'm going to spend some time either selling some of my bronze guys. Maybe I'll try a bit of bronze pack method again. I don't know. Uh, but I need some coins together. I need to try and get a Seri A squad built. Maybe we'll, in the next episode, just go on into um, our Division 3 again. And try and work our way up the division. Because there's 11,000 coins up for grabs if we can win that one. And that would build us a nice other half of a team. Um, but yeah, for now, we didn't quite make it to the weekend league unfortunately which is just my luck because as i said on my other account i like i play the the daily knockout tournaments all the time just for other videos just to get clips and stuff and i breeze through the level of player i play against is sometimes terrible but this time all four games were ridiculously hard the first game we got like let through by some random act of kindness the second game we faced a tough opponent but managed to beat him. Third game, again, my head was gone. We, we were up against someone difficult and I eventually managed to break him and crack him and, and, and beat him. And in the final, this guy was just unbelievable and it stressed me out so much that I didn't play FIFA again for the rest of that day, which... Yeah, kind of sums it up. I don't even know if I've got if I've got what it takes to play in the weekend league. I honestly don't know. Uh, maybe I'll give it a go on my main account this weekend and see how we get on. Maybe we retry it on this Road to Glory next week. But for now, I apologize. I haven't quite made it. Maybe we need to win Division 2 uh, to auto-qualify. I don't know. But thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, do smash a like on the video. And of course, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Have a great day. Catch you next time. Peace.